What is going on guys and gals? Fitzy here. Just got to the water. Fishing a uh, local stretch of river close to my house. I worked last night so I didn't have a lot of time today. Had to get home, get packed up, and I've got some stuff going on this evening. So I've got most of the day to fish. It's probably about 10.30 right now. And we could probably fish until about maybe 3, 4 o'clock or so. But uh, this is a spot that I've fished a number of times already, uh, last year and this year. We usually do pretty well, so I have some confidence. It's uh, mid to late fall now. Water temps are starting to drop. But uh, hopefully we can get uh, some carp and hopefully we can get some big ones. Uh, like I said, everything's all set up. We've got our uh, chair right there. We've got our cradle, a uh, sling, our net, a little water bucket. And then we've got our uh, rod pod with two rods. So yeah, let's go ahead and get baited up. And uh, as I'm baiting up, I'll kind of go over my bait, my pack bait, my hook bait. And uh, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. As per our usual, our pack bait is 42 ounces of Quaker rolled oats. I've got one packet, one big six ounce packet of strawberry jello mix. And I've got two 15 ounce cans of creamed corn. That's our pack bait. All right, for our hook bait, I made two boiling mixes over the last couple days. Um, the first one I have here is a garlic chili powder mix with flour, half a cup of flour, a little bit of uh, chili powder and garlic powder, and maybe two or three tablespoons of water. Probably made about 50 boilies. So we're going to put that on one of the rods. And then in this container, I have strawberry jello boilies which I used at, again a half a cup of flour and I used like a whole 3.4 ounce packet of strawberry jello it was probably a little bit too much made them very sugary so I had to add some more flour and again some a uh, couple tablespoons of water but I think they came out okay they smell pretty good so we're gonna put these on one of the rods put the garlic ones garlic chili powder ones on the other rod and we'll see what happens I also have um, fake corn and some tiger nuts for hook bait if this doesn't seem to be doing the trick so all right let's get these rods baited up all right real quick i'll go over what i'm using for uh my kit for my rod i got uh these are 12 foot three and a half pound test curve rods they're leader rogue rods and i've got 30 pound monofilament uh hair rig again the pack bait and on this left hand rod I have the garlic boilie, so we're just going to send that over there. Got to watch my overhead here. And I don't have to go off far because I like right in that area right there. And this rod is the same exact setup. And these are just some cheap reels I forgot to mention. Just some cheap bait running reels. And on this rod, I've got the strawberry boilie. So. And I don't really need to put it out there very far. Okie dokie, artichokey. Both rods are in. Now we wait and see. Wait and see. So the last time I was here, the water levels were pretty low, but we've gotten some uh, rain and it's fall time now, so waters are back up on the rise. Probably about, uh, oh, I don't know, foot, foot and a half higher than uh, last time I was here. Yeah, like I said, it's fall, man. And, uh, Air temps, water temps are dropping. It's probably about, uh, I don't know, maybe 50 degrees right now, 45, 50. I have no idea what the water temps are, but they're definitely have uh, dropped in summertime. So I don't know what kind of feeding frenzy we're gonna get today, if we're gonna get anything at all, but fishing's probably gonna be slow, but you know, you never know. So for those uh, that follow on a regular basis, I appreciate your support. More than likely, I probably only have maybe one or two more sessions left before winter sets in and up my way, we get uh, ice over for most bodies of water. Most ponds and lakes, you know, get about a foot and a half or so of ice. Uh, some of the waters like this river here uh, will be open and uh, at some points they might be froze shut. So. I'm going to try to uh, do a carp fishing session or two through the ice in some bodies of water where I know they're carp, some uh, ponds, and uh, try to get one through the ice this season while ice fishing. So we'll see if that happens, but 
if this is my last session, then uh, I probably won't be fishing again until probably April. So there's going to be a little bit of a lag with videos and whatnot, but uh, I'll be back in the spring for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got one. Oh, we got one. Well, this one feels nice, man. It's off the uh, strawberry boily. Feels nice, man. Feels nice. Oh, he came off. Son of a gun, he came off. Oh, I let that go for too long, trying to get cameras on, and I lost my boily. Son of a gun. He felt nice, too. It's a good sign, though. That was on the strawberry boily, babies. Oh, we got to bait back up. Oh, I got these trees right over my head, man. Missed the short rods. Okay, I just rebaited the rods, fresh pack bait, and I've got a strawberry boily on both now. Because I am getting hits with it. I had the one take, and then second bait up. Uh, my boiler got stripped. I was getting taps on it, boiler got stripped. So, strawberry boilies on both rods. Get them out there. Okay, Rod's back in. It's about noon. Yeah. Strawberry boily again. Okay, come on. We've got a good hook up this time. swimming in towards me. It's going to the left now. I don't want to get in that other rod line. Well, maybe it feels decent actually. I don't know. It's going to the right there. It feels, feels pretty good, man. There he is. Yeah, he's, he's not bad. Again, on the strawberry boily, baby. Yeah, he's a decent size. He's definitely a double digit. Oh, let's get the net. He's not huge, but he's, he's a decent fish. Uh, there he goes. He's in the net, man. He is in the net. All right. Yeah, buddy. He's in the net. Sweet. Look at that. Still got the boily. Still got my boily. Nice. Go back out there and hang out for a little bit, brother. Yeah, we got everything all set up. Let's get this guy on the uh, on the cradle and the sling. A little bit of weight on him. He's not a long guy, but he's chunky. What do we got? 17 pounds even with the sling. So just over 15 pounds. Here we go, our first carp of the session on the strawberry boily. Nice 15 pounder. Not super long, but he's thick. 
beautiful fish we've had one take and a couple nibbles and finally hooked into this one been out here for about a couple hours now so beautiful fish man appreciate you awesome all right we're getting back in the water beautiful 15 pounds baby back in that nice beautiful gorgeous water he is ready there he goes there he goes all right man fish number one let's get one or two more before the uh day is done okay it's almost 12 30 just caught our first fish on the uh, strawberry boily always feels cool catching uh something on your homemade baits had the uh one take a couple nibbles one fish it's a good sign so got a few more hours two more hours three more hours to fish so hopefully we can uh hook into one more Oh yeah, we got a nice one. Oh yeah, this one feels nice. Do not lose them. Oh yeah. There he is, I see him. Oh, don't get under there. Don't get under my other line, dude. Cross it, he's under. Come here swimming right into me come on oh, he's fighting crazy come on I don't want to lose him I don't want to lose him Come here. Right hand rod again, man. On the strawberry boily. And he is a fighter. There we go, got him in the net. Got him in the net. Awesome. Okay, scale zeroed out. What do we got? Nope. 15 pounds, three ounces with the sling. Minus two pounds, he's a 13 plus pounder. Oh, God. All right, here we go. 13 plus pounder. Fought like crazy, man. I thought he was bigger than the first, but yeah, 13 plus pounder. He's longer, I think, than the first one, but not as girthy. But he fought like crazy, man. Like crazy. Yeah, you ready, huh? Ready, brother? There he goes, he's ready. Thanks for playing, man. Thanks for playing. All right. All right, there we go, man. Fish number two, a 13 pounder. Um, it's about one o'clock. We still got uh, two or three hours to fish if we want. So I've got to rebate the uh, right hand rod that I just caught that fish on. Got to put fresh pack bait in a 
fresh piece of hook bait on there. Again, caught them on the uh, strawberry boily. I think I'm gonna pull that left hand rod too and freshen up the pack bait. But yeah, let's get them back out there. See if we can't get another uh, carp. Maybe uh, something pushing that 20 pound mark. That'd be sweet. All right. Come on, baby. Let's get one more for Papa. One more for Papa. Oh, we got one. There we go, we got one. Oh, he's a nice one, I think. Maybe. We gotta get him over here. Come on. Over this way, buddy. He's caught up in something. Ah, oh, we're caught up. Come on, still on. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. Freedom up. Freedom up. Strawberry boily again, man. Oh, now he's getting up underneath that line. Where is he? Oh, yeah. There he is. We see him. We see him. Third fish. If we land him. He's nothing super big, but that's okay. Get our net. Yeah, he's a small guy. We're not going to weigh you. He's probably about a 10 pounder, I'd say. Just had you again. There we go. Got him. Got him in the net. Got him in the net, man. Third fish. Been a long day. Kind of slow, but... Finally just landed our third fish. Get you uh, under the cradle, the waist sling. We will get a weight on you, man. You're decent size. Right around that same mark, I think, maybe, as the other ones that we've caught. Around that 12 to 15, maybe. I don't know. It's always hard to tell sometimes. Pretty fish. I like these darker colored ones, these bronze looking ones. Zeroed out. 15 pounds, 13 ounces with the waist sling. Minus two, so he's about a 14 pounder, maybe just shy, maybe right around. All right, there we go, about a 14 pounder. Gorgeous, beautiful fish, man. Nice and dark, bronze colored, love it. Beautiful, we're gonna make this one be the last one for the day, it's about probably 3.30. Caught him again on the uh, strawberry boily. That seems to be the uh, hook bait of choice this session. I tried the uh, garlic boily, I tried some fake corn, but everything that hit was on the strawberry boily so we'll get this guy back in the water pack up and call it a day beautiful Mwah. beautiful fish all right brother get you back in a little bit more water on you he's 
zippy up. Okay, buddy. Just sit in the water there for a couple seconds. He's ready. He's ready. There he goes. Hi, right, folks. I'm going to call it. Like I said, it's about 3.30 or so. Not uh, an outstanding day. We didn't get any big, fat lunkers. But we got three fish, and I'll take that, man. It's better than a skunk, better than a blank. So uh, not bad for a fall day. Um, everything was on the strawberry boily, man. The homemade strawberry boily. I made them a few days ago. Uh, I also made some garlic boilies. Nothing touched that. I fished that most of the day on one rod. Uh, I did try some rubber corn for a little bit. Nothing hit on that. But, uh, yeah, I think I just got to tweak the uh, recipe a little bit. They're a little bit maybe too soft because I lost a couple, I think, that got stolen from me where they were nipping at it and, and, and got it free without getting hooked up. So, But, yeah, uh, I'll probably get out a couple more times before the winter sets in. Up uh, around my parts, we get uh, a lot of the waterways get iced over, so which I'll be ice fishing. But I might try to ice fish for carp. You know, make a nice big hole and vertical uh, fish for carp in the winter time. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. But uh, as always, take care. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.